Today is all about dark lips, so Bordeaux, wines, all those sorts of lipsticks that are all over the catwalks for autumn, winter and a really big trend. They can be quite hard to wear, um, but there's so many different ways you can wear them. If you get a dark lipstick, you can sort of use it almost as a stain, it's almost like a kind of Jane Austen, you know, novel come to life with a sort of flush of just eaten berries and a sort of flush to the cheeks. Or obviously they could be really, really gothic, especially if you're already quite pale and got dark hair and you apply it, you know, quite um, strong, especially if you haven't got that much blusher on. Um, but they can also be very, very chic and wearable and quite sophisticated. So I am just going to do a look today and I'm also going to show you six of my favourite current dark lipsticks and which skin tones I think they'll be good for. Right, I'm going to start with my base. I'm trying something new. I've, I tried it yesterday and I liked it. It's the um, Dior Skin. I've used the liquid here before and this is the gel, so it's the compact, the new gel they've done. It comes with a nice little um, sponge, but I think they're good for touch-ups, but in general I'm not crazy about putting it on with sponges. I think you get an awful lot with these kind of solid foundations. So I'd rather use either fingers or a brush just to get the initial sort of thin covering on. So I put that all over. It's really beautiful and light, rather like the liquid variant. Um, it feels not as dewy as the liquid one, so it's actually better for me because my skin's a bit oily, but it is still really good for dehydrated skin. Now the main thing about when you're going to do dark lips, I think, is um, that you need to get, if you're somebody that has a lot of red in the skin, you need to get rid of the red, especially if you're pale, you know, if you've got redness around your nose and you're going to do this sort of wine coloured lip, it starts to look very messy and um, it, it just doesn't look as good. So if you are red, I would say get rid of all of that if you're thinking of wearing a wine or bordeaux -y coloured lipstick, you know, round your mouth, round your chin, any sort of red spots. If you're somebody that gets very red on the cheeks as well, I'd say sort of, you know, make sure you kind of reduce it here because that can all start to look a bit, everything can start to look too red uh, with that type of lipstick colour. Um, another one that I've just tried out recently, which I really like, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, I'd say it was Lyrac. It's a French brand, it's a French pharmacy brand, and they have done a new tinted, quite um, heavy coverage for particularly problematic dark circles. It's double action. To be honest, I haven't tried it enough to see if the, the ingredients which claim to lighten the under eye area as well, if they work or not. But in terms of coverage, I'd say um, this is amazing. You hardly need any at all, if you can see that. I mean, I've just, more or less taken most of it off on my finger and it just instantly gets rid of them but at the same time it doesn't feel very very heavy so I think if you're um, if you have got a problem there this is a really nice product to try so yeah so really if you're going to do dark lips get rid of all the dark circles and the redness and also blemishes and things because you're it's amazing how when you've got that kind of a lipstick that has a very purpley or red base other things that have got purpley and red bases on your face will really start to stand out a lot right for my eyes I'm going to start with a primer from um, this one is from Guerlain it's just you just apply it like a an eyeshadow I want to get any purpley redness out of my eyelids and just smooth the whole area. Now for my eye makeup, I'm going to um, avoid too much black just because I'm not looking for a sort of gothy approach to it. Um, if you want to do a gothic look, go for it. I've got a real soft spot for goths. I think they look great, but I'm not doing a gothic look today. Um, I'm going to do more kind of neutral, a little bit more sophisticated and just show the sort of versatility of, of dark lips. I thought I'd use, I was looking for it then, the um, Smoking Eyes palette by Benefit, just because some of the colours in here are really good, um, like this sort of browny grey and this browny colour, I think will work really well at keeping the whole thing, my eyes defined, but again not not too intense um, and not too stark against against the lips because I really want the lips to kind of be the main focus. So I'm just going to use the greyish shade from the palette, so it's just very very soft. Um, I'm just trying out this Japanesque brush, which um, I haven't used before, but it's a really good shape. 
And I think that's enough, but it's just giving that little bit of depth there and a little bit of balance. So I'm just gonna put the same shade underneath, just a fraction though, not too much. I want to keep it all very chic looking around the eyes. Now, I think that looks good, but I might need some more. I might need some pencil, but I'm gonna get the lips on first. I think that's a really good way to work. Get your sort of basic eye on, get your lip on, get your cheek on, and then you can reassess everything and make sure it all looks in balance and it all looks good. Next, I'm gonna use mascara. I'm gonna use Prestige My Blackest Lashes, just because this is my current um, quick favorite. Gets them on super quick. I'm just gonna do my brows now. I want to give myself a medium brow. I'm going to use the same palette. I'm going to use the um, this one from Benefit. I'll use the dark greyish brown shadow, which is actually a great colour for brows. If you've got dark hair, it's a perfect mixture of grey and brown in there. On to the lipsticks, and I'll show you the ones that I've I've picked up and that I really like at the moment for this type of look. Um, the first one is by Rimmel, and it's called True Vintage 123. This is a really nice, um, quite pinkish, plummy colour. So it's it's not too dramatic, it's got um, quite a wearable side to it. And I think this would be a good shade if you've got pale skin or you're not feeling very adventurous and you want something that's going to just be very sophisticated and have that lovely, plumminess but without being too much. This one I love is by Boot 17 and this one almost looks black but it's very very matte um, but kind of a creamy matte so it's much more sort of purpley if you can see it next to the the other one it's much deeper so that's really good as a stain. Now the other three uh, I like or four rather is I like this one by Gemma Kid. This is good for really dark skin because it's got quite a lot of red in it so it really pops. So if you're very dark skinned, that would be a good one because some of them, if you've got dark skin, they're a little bit too browny purple and they don't, they just look a bit dirty and a bit sludgy. Whereas something like that, that has got um, quite a vibrant base to it is really gonna register on dark skin and look great. The other thing that's cute about this is it's got at the other end a lip balm so it's quite good if you want to do a stain or something and then use the lip balm. So that's quite cute. Uh, Dior have got uh, a lovely one out at the moment. It's Dior Addict, it's 889. And this is um, a little bit different again. It's very um, dewy, so it's quite shiny, this one. It's quite good if, you're, um, if your lips aren't very big because some of the more matte ones can look, you make your, your lips look very mean. But because this one's quite sheeny and has a lovely gloss to it, um, if you were to put it on as a stain or just you know put a small amount on it, it actually looks really pretty. And then number eight, which is the one of the new YSL ones, Rouge Pure Couture. And this is lovely. It's um, again, it's quite, it's probably the most vibrant one, I'd say. So I'd say that is probably the best one if you've got really, really dark skin because that is just going to look beautiful. It's, it's going to light up your face. It's going to be a really good against your skin tone. Or also if you're very sort of dark olive skinned, it would look really pretty as well. Um, it'll just give more of a vibrancy. Oh, and the last one before I forget is one that's been around for years, but it's great. And it's a uh, sheer uh, by Clinique and it's called Black Honey. It looks black there, but it's completely, completely sheer. So you can see that if you're a little bit frightened of um, experimenting with dark lipsticks or you do have very thin lips, that's perfect because you can't really go wrong with it. it, it you can build it up and have it look berryish, but it's never going to have that dark intensity. Now I think I'm going to use go for it and use a really dark one which is um, New Black by Seventeen. I'm going to use this one though with my fingers and I'm going to use it just as a sort of stained effect. This one's quite purpley and quite obviously matte. If you do need a lip pencil, make sure you use one that matches. This is Plummy by Clinique. And if you're doing this technique, obviously you want to smudge in the lip pencil as well because it'll look really strange otherwise. But that just gives it that 
it's a very modern way of wearing lipstick anyway and I think with these dark colours it just makes it feel a little bit soft, a little bit more wearable. Now straight away you can see that my face is drained of colour and I really do think you need some blusher unless as I say you're going for, you know, you want to look a bit gothy. Um, but you do want something that's got the same colour family a little bit. This one's fab I think, it's by Clinique and it's called Tuxedo Plums and you can see straight away that it's got that exact shade and I can sort of mix these colours and get some sort of colour into my cheeks without it looking completely different. If I was to use a really um, orangey bronzer now, I think it would just ruin the whole effect. So I think that's really completed that look and it's it's got definitely the trend element. It has the dark lips, a sort of slightly matte colour, but I think I still look healthy and, and a little bit chic. I'm not too gothy, I'm not too um, romantic novel type berries and flushed, so um, I think that's quite good. But I am going to try another look for you. I'm just going to get a wipe, actually. I'm going to show you another way of doing this. Let's take off that lips. Now, for this look, I'm going to use a slightly brighter lipstick and I'm going to do pencil all over. So while I've got my balm on there, I'm going to just put a stain on. This is Clinique Pencil in Plummy. So what I'm doing, because I'm going to put the lipstick, the next lipstick on, more of a full-on colour, I am just making my bottom lip look a little bit fuller to match my top lip. And I'm just going to smudge in that pencil. Actually looks great on its own, that pencil. It's a nice colour. Okay, so now I'm going to use, I'll use one of the more, the brighter plums. I'll use the um, YSL one, the one that I thought would be good for dark skin. So this is much creamier and has a shine to it. And applying it with a brush means I'm getting a lot more on than I did before. So there you are, that's the more full-on wine plum lip. Mm, it's very smooth, this lipstick, it's very nice. Um, now that this colour's gone on, it's sort of more intense. I feel like I just need a fraction more blush, actually, with this colour. I think it's really good to kind of get the colour on and then figure everything out. And also, I think if I was wearing this in the evening, I'd probably add just a tiny bit more depth to my eyes. I'm going to go back to that very dark colour that I used on my brows. I'll probably just give ever so slightly just a little bit more definition. So there you go, there are lots and lots of beautiful dark plum and wine coloured lipsticks around. I put a blog post on my website which has um, the six favourites, my current six favourites and the lip pencil I've used today and there's ideas on there for which shades I think work well with which sort of skin tones. It's a nice trend, I think it's worth trying out and um, just have fun with it.